New Jersey is continuing to plant its flag in the women's health space, holding the state's seventh annual Maternal Health Awareness Day as the Murphy administration tries to chip away at disparities in maternal health outcomes that have overshadowed progress for years. New Jersey still has one of the country's worst overall maternal mortality rates. Today, First Lady Tammy Murphy launched Family Connects NJ. It's a statewide universal home visit program that will connect parents with nurses for a home visit within the first two weeks after giving birth. An initiative first proposed three years ago as part of the First Lady's larger Nurture NJ program. But as senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan reports, the line is getting blurred on Murphy's mission now that she's announced a U.S. Senate run. Postpartum care is just as important as prenatal care. With four kids of her own, Assemblywoman Shanique Spates lived the experience. She joined advocates to welcome the official launch of Family Connects NJ, a program offering at least three in-home visits by a nurse to mothers and their newborns. It's critical care in New Jersey where black mothers are far more likely to die of pregnancy-related complications than white moms. And just being a black woman in this space, I remember um, times when I, the four times I came home after delivering the baby, feeling disconnected, feeling alone, not sure who to talk to, and then you also embarrassed about how you may feel. The program's designed to be universal, whether parents are insured or not, and open to everyone, income and immigration status notwithstanding. Only Oregon offers something similar. Its most vocal proponent, First Lady Tammy Murphy, supported the concept before she announced her run for U.S. Senate. The challenge overcoming problems posed by inequity. I believe those practical problems are the very same ones at the heart of our maternal health crisis and are the direct result of systemic racism. Nurses with Family Connects NJ will screen for postpartum depression, child abuse or neglect, and potential partner violence. They'll offer guidance for breastfeeding, infant care and development, and they'll help connect families to social services like housing and economic assistance, says legislative sponsor, Senator Teresa Ruiz. Just to check in and say, are you okay? To take a look around, because there are things that you'll notice is there food in the refrigerator? Does the house look tidy? Are they living in a safe space? The program sets specific goals to reduce New Jersey's maternal mortality by half within five years and to eliminate racial disparities in outcomes. We still have a long way to go, but this, I think, is is a game changer. But in political terms, what differentiates this event from a campaign function for Tammy Murphy? One of her primary opponents calls it an unfair advantage. So at this point, I am calling for the First Lady to actually stop uh, using her official role as First Lady uh, in going to places to campaign. They claim they're not campaigning, but they're actually getting access because she's still keeping her title. So the concern is real. Is there a lot of cross-pollination that's happening? Listen, anything that I'm doing in my life, I am completely consistent. And this is something I've been supporting and working with. Uh, Nurture NJ is something, I, it's, it's something I've been working on for years. So uh, as First Lady, I'm really thrilled to be here right now and helping to get the word out on this. Murphy says the $35 million program rolls out first in five counties, Cumberland, Gloucester, Mercer, Middlesex, and Essex, where it's operated as a pilot program and will expand annually until the entire state's covered. I've heard a lot of good feedbacks from the moms there. Like, why, where was this program when I had my first child? The program does need to hire 250 more nurses. The website's active at familyconnectsnj.org. In Trenton, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.